Hi, my name is Erica Steves. I am so excited to be here today. I'm joined with Bonnie Onchman. She is a product stylist and a photo stylist. She has over 30 years experience and I'm just so excited to see her perspective of how the industry has changed and everything that it entails. So give me a warm welcome. Welcome Bonnie to the episode. Hi Erica, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. A new video will be launching every Tuesday. We are going to be covering tips and tricks, product styling, commercial photography, and so much more. What are you waiting for? Subscribe today. Yes, I'm so excited that you are here with me. I, you're in Massachusetts. We actually met online and I just like, I'm so inspired by your story. And I'm wondering if you could just share the audience a little bit about how you got started and just a few little highlights along the way. Sure. Um, well, I got started actually as a, as a modeling agent. So I was an agent before I was a stylist. Um, so I did that for about six years. And one of my clients, it's like one of those faithful days, right? One of my clients um, called me up, a photo assistant called me up saying that she forgot to um, tell the model that they needed to bring clothes. So I'm like, don't worry about it. I'll go to the mall, I'll go shopping, and I'll meet you and the model and the photographer at the shoot. And I'm embarrassed to say, but this is before cell phones. So I couldn't call her and let her know. And she was traveling a couple hours. So I went to the shoot with all my clothes and uh, that was from a magazine called Family Fun, which is a Walt Disney magazine. And they hired me that day to be their stylist. So I've been styling ever since. That and, is such a cool story. Yeah, and it's like one it of those faithful days that it happened. Yeah. That yeah. like the right time, the right place. And it was just yeah. the trajectory that changed your life completely. Yeah, it really did. It's funny because, you know, this was a client of mine, you know, hiring models. And in time, about two years into the, doing this, um, I left the agency. I actually, you know, let go of the agency because I felt that I was in the studio all the time styling, which is unfair to the models because really as an agent, you need to be in that office making phone calls, getting work for your models. So it was that point that I made the decision to go full-time into styling and, and um, you know, let go of the agency. It's so interesting, like, hearing, like, what other people do and, like, how they do it. Because, like, similar to you, I just kind of, got thrown into it and figured it out for the most part and just kind of like mirrored what I thought I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, no, I think anything like I, when I first started, like I didn't know any stylist at all. There was no place to go to learn anything. I mean, I'm dating myself, I know, but it was like, you know, before the internet. So, there, you know, you just had to figure everything out. And that's why, why my kid is so big is because, you know, through the years you just find things that, you know, you love. For sure. I can't even imagine like what it's like to be on set with you. <laughs> what did that like? Maybe how much fun it would something. be. But Maybe someday we could do a shoot together. Yeah, that would be wild. Oh my yeah. God. So many amazing things. Uh, something, a little funny story here I can add quickly is, uh, have you ever had the experience where you're on set and they just need another body and you become the model? Oh, because yes. I know yes. <laughs> that has been my case uh, many times. Um, just recently, I was called in quickly because they knew I was a plus size and they needed a model and they needed images like to deliver same day. And I just was like, okay, I'm there, I'm coming. Yep. <laughs> Totally relate to that. It's happened to me too. And most of the time, it's a lot of fun, you know, to get kind of pulled into the shoot. And I do a lot of magazine work, so it was fun. Can you share with me some of the differences that you see with a photo styling versus product styling? I think actually it's one of the same because I feel like products is just a, um, a niche that you go into. You know, mm -hmm. product styling is one niche. May say, you know, food and beverages might be another one. Fashion might be another one jewelry so i feel like product styling is the niche that you're in as a photo stylist not necessarily separate that's kind of how i feel about the product styling the way that i kind of style it too is like with photo styling you're styling the overall image mm -hmm. and then with product styling it's really like you're creating a focal point and then highlighting a specific aspect to make the hero 
Like, mm-hmm. um, I know when, when we were talking about creating this video, you said specifically that you're a photo stylist. Right. So I just thought that was uh, really interesting because I've always coined and talk about being a product stylist, but I, I do similar also where um, I'm building sets and I'm creating concepts. But then as the niche, as you're saying, is the product styling of just like really setting up the photo to make something the hero, whether it's the person or the clothes that you're trying to sell. And it's really like going to be positioned in a a commercial setting. You know, so you do it two ways. Like you said, like you could make that the hero and have very small style elements or, you know, you shoot it within the environment. Yeah, that's so cool. So I know like just by looking on your website, which we'll drop the link below and so that you can go check her out, is you do a lot of consulting and coaching for up and coming product stylists or as photo stylists. And uh, I'm just curious about what your workflow is and like how you onboard new clients. What is it that you do to, that makes you different when you start a new project? Um, I actually don't do the traditional onboarding of a client. I feel like maybe because I'm not like a photographer and I don't really have deliverables um, to give to a client. I'm doing the shopping and I'm going to the shoe. So I really don't do the traditional onboarding of a client. But I will say, you know, what makes me different, and I talk about this because I do consult with stylists, you, you do want to have that, you know, unique selling proposition. Um, and some things that I do different is... I have a, actually a whole book that it, um, is all locations of photo shoots that I've gone over the years. And so I can go to a photographer and say, I can get this location for free, you know, just bartering a few pictures. So that's what makes me a little different because I have that a whole resource of uh, places and not just studios or houses. You know, I go to kitchen supply places to do kitchen shots. I've you know, I've done pool shots at pool supply companies where I would just walk in and say, can we use your location? You have a beautiful pool. And the photographer comes in and does the shot and, you know, doesn't have to set a studio up or doesn't have to find his own location so or her location. So I do that. That's a little bit different. Um, than- That's such a great resource because I know like in and being a photographer and working with different clients, them always being like, so what's the story? They are on the beach in Miami while well, we're in Montreal. So let's, unless you're going to pay for the ticket for us to fly down to Montreal, let's set the expectation and be realistic about what we're able to achieve. Right. <laughs> and it really comes down to the budget. So like having that resource of knowing where you can find things easily and quickly and have the relationships already built up. That's huge. Yeah. Are you loving this interview with Bonnie? She has so much amazing information to share. And I'm really curious if you have any other questions about product styling or things that you would like to know in the future. Um, I'm going to be doing more interviews like this. So please let me know in the comments below so that I can create content just for you. I mean, I had to just have a whole book of everyone who has said yes. And when you think about it, we, you know, the photographer gives them a couple of pictures. Of course, it can't be the pictures of the shoot because the client owns those. But while we're there, we take some pictures and the owner of the place is able to get some pictures for his, you know, promotion. So this particular was very win-win. It was a beautiful, you know, grounds and pools and they had everything. They had the, the pool floats and the little flower caps, you know, the bathing caps. They had everything. We were able to use everything. So the budget was, you know, not very much at all because I didn't have to go shopping for those things. So those are some of the things I offer to a photographer to make it, you know, unique in hiring me. But um, also, you know, I have trade accounts. Like I have a trade account with the wholesale flowers. So when I'm doing interior shots, you know, I pass along that savings onto my photographer and say, you know, I can get your florals for cost. So, you know, things like that, distinguish you as being like you know you said you know you stand out a little bit more maybe you can offer something that another stylist hasn't thought of or photographer hasn't thought of and yeah so that's kind of how I do so I don't traditionally onboard I just you know I have reasons why you know I'm a little different like you said that's so interesting I'm really like inspired hearing what you're saying and I'm already thinking of ways that I can position myself even better than where I'm at 
before we we started this recording, we were just talking a little bit and I was expressing to you how what I believe makes me unique as a product stylist is I went to school for fashion design and I didn't go to school for photography, but I find that my perspective and knowledge of like how to recreate the wheel because fashion is all about kind of reinventing things that are already done makes me a really interesting product stylist and photographer because I have an untapped ability to come up with new ideas and inspiration all the time. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, do you sometimes like bring the client and you will find a photographer or are you generally trying to link up with other photographers and work on their projects? Like how does, how does that work? It works a variety of different ways. I've been hired specifically from the photographer. I've been hired by the client, not the photographer. They would bring their own photographer. They would send me to the photographer. And I've also um, have gotten hired by a client and I've referred the photographer. I've actually, you know, so I've kind of been, you know, involved with all those three aspects of doing it. So there's never just one way that I get hired as a photo stylist. Um, do you have any photo styling tips that you can leave us with today to help our viewers just kind of get inspired to take that first image or even just take out their phone and start taking some pictures today while they're at home? Um, what, what tips do you have for? I think more than anything else, I think it's, and I always suggest this is for a photographer and a stylist to shadow one another. Because I feel that uh, sometimes if you're a photographer, it's really helpful to see, you know, someone who photo styles full time. That's all they do is photo style and really see what's in their kit and the tips of the trade. So I think that it's really valuable for if you're a photographer to shadow a stylist and really kind of see what's in that kit. You know, so and, what's in your kit? That's my question. Yeah. What is your <laughs> must have items in your toolkit? that you have you will not walk on set without because I know that like if I'm out of the studio I have my list of things that like I use most often what are a couple of things that are your must-haves in your in your toolbox when you're on set okay. I have so many I just love collecting tools it, it never gets old to me I just love it for me I like <laughs> if you look at anything gaffer tape is probably holding it together <laughs> mm -hmm. right so i was gonna say my first one was adhesives too mine is adhesive and it's, it's a product called zots oh i've never and, heard of this yeah there's zots and they come in all different sizes they all come in all different weights and all different sizes but my favorite is the 3d ones because they're big and they're you know they hold you know so and I do rug styling, so I, you know you, how the rugs curl up. I need to get those rugs down, you know, flat to the floor. Mm -hmm. So they're great for that. They're actually even great for canvases, because um, I do wall galleries as well when I do interiors. So I put a za on each side and I put it to the wall, and it, it's it holds. It's great. So I would say zas is the number one. Um, also, anything like I'm, I have a mini vacuum, which is kind of like a keyboard vacuum, but it's good for. Um, you know, picking up any crumbs or confetti or anything light, um, rather than use canned air, because I find canned air could sometimes be a little strong, right? Yeah. So I have this little mini vacuum. Um, so really, you know, tools relative to cleaning the set and making sure that everything's good, because you know, being a photographer, the camera eye sees that. Yeah, you know, and then so, there's more time in editing. <laughs> right, and that's something I never say to a photographer ever has come out of my mouth is, can you do that in post? That has never come out of my mind. I get it as perfect as I possibly can because I feel like, you know, that's what a photo stylist should do. So, yeah. So that's one of my favorite tools, but I have um, three different kits, one for just for food styling, one for interior. And yeah, I pack that car up with my tools. <laughs> I find like as a product stylist, like I hide things, I hoard things. I, mm -hmm. I would like, I see things with a texture and like, my partner's always like, why are you keeping this? Or why, why do you even have this still? And I always find like new resources, new resourceful ways to, to use it and different things like this. So it yeah. just kind of goes to our creative solving kind of mindset where, you know, everything is figuratable and yeah. there's always something that you can do with nothing. <laughs> there is. I'm the same way. I just, I have so many props and you just never know when you're going to need something. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, it was so amazing talking to you today. Where can everybody find you and learn more from you? Um, what is the best way to get in touch with you? Best way is my website, which is bonnieanschman.com, or you can find me on Instagram, same name, Bonnie Anschman. Um, and 
my website has everything that you need for photographers and photo stylists. So I have a 10 week course, but I also have contracts and um, guides to kind of give you more insight about the business of styling and how to get business, how to get styling contracts and photography contracts. So you can find me there. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on today. You were just a wealth of knowledge and I really hope that it inspires just a few people. Thank you again so much. Thanks for having me. I think it is so amazing that we have the opportunity to meet people all over the world and that is doing similar things to us where we can learn and grow from each other and share resources. I developed this group just specifically for this, a free Facebook group where it's called the Product Styling Lounge. I would love to carry on the conversation and learn more from you in the link below. Come join me in the closed Facebook group. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. A new video will be dropping every Tuesday. And I really hope that today you were able to gain some really valuable information. One of the takeaways that I had that I thought was really amazing that Bonnie shared is she has a whole book that sets her apart from other people. And it's a book of locations and relationships that she has that she can access to people at a moment's notice, which I just think is so special and unique to her. It really helps position her market value as a product stylist so much higher than other ones. So what are you waiting for? What makes you unique? Dive in and take little bits of information and make it your own to really grow and aspire to be the best product stylist that you can be. Anyway, until next time, have a great day.